Week 1, Lesson 5, MyTech Pictography. Around the 14th and 15th century, the MyTech started playing around with pictography codecs. The most famous of these was the codex Zouch Nuttall. This was the story of the warrior leader Eight Deer Jaguar Claw. Like William the Conqueror, he was a real leader, but unlike William, the artist's work depicting his legacy was mixed in with more myth. Now, here's the problem. Much about Eight Deer Jaguar Claw has been lost to history, and most of what we know about him comes from this famous codex. The problem is that no one is 100% sure how to read it. Where with the Egyptian paintings in the Bayou Tapestry, there were clear flows of the narrative that they showed. This codex doesn't really have any clear rules for where the eye is supposed to go. Like the other art we looked at, there is no detailed backgrounds, and most of the pictures don't use horizon lines or proper scales. I think it's safe to say that this is one of the most diverse color schemes out of anything that we've seen so far in this course, which can make it very hard to focus on for too long. And as a failure on my part, I haven't been able to find a complete reprint of this codex. I can't go over it step by step with you or look at it in any great detail with you. I'm asking any students of this course as a bonus homework assignment to find proper scans of the reprinted pictures of this document so that in the future courses we can do a full and complete video on the subject. You can submit any of your findings to us via email, the comment section, or Dropbox. So why look at this codex? Because it's a an very important document in the precursor to comics, which shows how pictures were used as a narrative to help enhance a long dead ruler's legacy. It's also one of the early examples of this type of work in the Western Hemisphere made outside of Europe or outside of European influence.